composting uh, our composting process, we kind of have it split now. We, we're doing you know crop residues, which are a slower compost. Um, we are trying to macerate that with with the uh, flail mower collector, and that actually makes that more effective, I think, and it makes the compost that comes out of it much easier to use. Um, and then, yeah, we're just making it into windrows. And, and at the moment, you know, we, we, we're just doing, we're just turning it occasionally. These are massive piles. I, I think that, you know, when people talk about, like, having compost that's ready to use in three weeks, I, like, I don't think that's good compost. You know, I think time needs to be involved there. You know, like, you, you know, you can have a terrible-looking compost pile and you leave it for a certain amount of time. And, it can, you know, when life really gets into there, it's beautiful stuff. So, so, you know, generally, we try to leave our compost for about a year. Like, we, we cover it. Um, during that time, but yeah, and then we're, then we're actually collecting uh, green material from around the farm, um, like uh, green manures, like tracks, stuff like that. And that this year we've made a, we've made a lot of compost. Like I, I think we'll, we will be pretty much compost self sufficient next year. And um, there's been a lot of work that's going into that, but this is all transitional technique. <laughs> to be honest, you know, well the, the residues will always be composting, but. Um, you know, long term we're going into using uh, wood chip composts. That's part of the agroforestry design that we're that we're doing. So yeah, next slide, please. Yeah. So um, kind of compost sources. You know, as I said, I'm not like you know, I'm definitely not advocating just like importing massive amounts of green green waste every year. Um, is it's a, it's a good like material for the transition. It's been really effective for us to have that resource to transition to this system, but it's definitely not ideal going forward. Um, so, you know, and in the kind of whole systems view of a farm, you know, we really want to be be a kind of a nutrient. You know, I don't I don't think of like closed systems or self sufficient systems. I think of nutrient flows, and really, I don't think there are closed systems, you know, we're part of one bigger closed system, but we are not, a, like, you know, our farms are never going to be closed systems, you know, for, for the simple fact that we export so much, you know, so, um, so kind of, with, with that mindset, you know, we're trying to maximize, what, you know, I think if we can, if we can kind of carry on exporting that much produce, that much fertility, and we can overall kind of be building fertility over the whole farm, I think that's a massive win, you know, <laughs> you know to, to actually be that, you know, that intensively productive with very extractive plants, like as Tully mentioned in the previous talk, you know, the, the crops we're growing it take take costs, definitely, and, and, you know, if we can do that whilst building fertility, you know, I, I think we're winning, generally, so, um, yeah. So we usually we, we put in 1,500 willow cuttings, of willows and poplars. Sorry, this this year we we go we like we're experimenting with an intensively planted um, like short rotation system. So the plan is to take one of these three um, rows every three years, um, and they're, they're planted at 60 centimeters apart. Like that might not be ideal. That might be too intensive. But if they do, I'll just thin them out. You know, if it's not so good, I prefer to plant too many and have to thin them. And, not have planted enough, so so we'll kind of manage that as time goes on. But these are like you know potentially multi generational projects. You know, like the, I don't know how well it's going to work offhand. Um, but yeah, and then we you know just kind of trying to kind of manage our you know the mowings and stuff, and just kind of really use that to build soil in the in the gardens. Next slide, please. So yeah, so soil.